All right, hello guys. So this video is on Camper 4.0, and as you guys can see, I have mounted it to a trailer. So I've done a overall uh, review for, uh, video, I guess you could say, of 4.0, and in that one you saw that this was mounted on my pickup truck. When I designed and built 4.0, I did it to have dual rolls. One, that it could sit on a pickup truck, or two, it could be mounted to a trailer, and which is what you see here. Now, uh, I am selling 4.0, and I will include a link to the RV Trader advertisement here within the next day or two, the little luck. Uh, but for this video, I just wanted to show it as a trailer form and kind of go over uh, its features. So the first thing is what's the total weight of this? And I took it to the cat scale and the trailer did not mate the minimum weight requirement to even take a measurement. However, I did get the gross vehicle weight for the truck or my 2002 Forerunner and the trailer. And my best conservative estimate is that the, the trailer and the camper mounted together weigh about 1,500 pounds. Now, let me caveat that and make that clear. That is a wet weight. This trailer right now currently has uh, all water filled up. It has the battery. It has everything in it, including... Uh, my own personal belongings, uh, like a bedding and clothing and food and etc. So this 1,500 pounds is going to be a pretty solid weight uh, for someone to put more weight in there that they would have to carry a whole lot more belongings and perhaps a bag of bricks. That's kind of a joke there. But uh, so, um, so if you were to buy this, you would need a vehicle that has a towing capacity of at least 1,500 pounds. Um, right now, I've been towing it around with my O2 Forerunner, and it's been pulling it and doing really well. So, uh, let's talk about a couple other features on the exterior here. So, the top, I have 400 watts of solar, and that is actually built on a tilting mechanism, so you can tilt the panels up to about a 22 degree angle to get optimum uh, solar production. Uh, this thing is wired for running lights that will be tied in with the... Uh, wiring harness for the trailer itself it also has up here a rear wireless uh, backup camera uh, which the monitor for that would come with this and all you would do is just need to plug it into the cigarette lighter of your vehicle and it's in an always on mode so therefore you could see constantly um, what's behind you while you're towing the trailer it does come with that uh, fuel can with the rotopax mount now that Containers never been used so you could put uh, water in there if you wanted or carry some fuel This little container down here is a pull-out outdoor kitchen I'll show that in a few minutes and I'll also show the, how the panels tilt up that box that you see there that box actually lifts off and Reveals the AC unit which can run completely off-grid so this includes the solar panels and the uh, Blue Eddy EB240 solar generator which is a quite expensive product by itself for those who know so this is a um, turnkey unit you would literally only need to put your own personal belongings so the trailer is brand new uh, I added a spare tire to it and it does have the trailer jack so you can lift it up now some of you may be looking right down here and see that this looks somewhat unconventional because you have the indented portion that's black down there and again this camper has dual purposes you could take it off this trailer and mount it in a pickup truck so that's why it's shaped like that uh, this actually serves as a really good storage point though so you can see down there i have some traction boards uh, but you could you know the imagination's a limit as far as what you could put down there you could put down there uh, tents skis snowboards firewood uh, camp chairs etc if a purchaser wanted I could build a custom box that would mount above this up to this area and fill in that gap and it would have a some lockable doors that would uh, be an additional cost in and, in and above the trailer but it is something that could be done so let's go ahead and move to the inside and see what we got going there 
Um, so coming over here, you can see that the uh, door to this camper has a combo lock and it also has a deadbolt. This door is very strong, it's hardwood, both the door frame and the jam around it, so it's unlikely to be kicked or pried open. All right, so here is the interior of the camper. The overall total height inside of here is about five foot one, five foot two. Uh, again, this is meant to be a, a lightweight camper, so, uh, um, but it's still relatively comfortable to get in there. Now, I'm very proud of how the layout of this is. So as you guys can see, I'll pull up my bedding here. This, there is an L bed area. This one is about 32 inches wide. The one in the front is 24. Um, and what that means is one person and both of them have an overall width of about six foot one, six foot two. So what that means is somebody could lay across the back and lay across the side. This side one also serves as a couch and lounging area. So you can go up in there and sit when you're not sleeping on it, obviously. And on this bank, there's a generous amount of storage and for functionality, uh, there is a pull-down secretary desk. So if you're sitting here like a couch, you have a little work area. Plus, all of these drawers here are functional drawers, but they also have a flat top. Over here, you have a simple sink fed by a seven-gallon uh, water tank and a USB-powered pump. And then this sink actually just drains right out the side right here here is that blue eddy eb240 this is the electrical power system let me turn on the lights in here real quick there we go uh down here which is included is a i think it's about a 35 quart fridge and that actually slides out so you can slide it out to access it down below here is a cabinet that houses a chemical toilet and that works out really well so you have a little chemical toilet or if you didn't want to carry one you can remove it this little bag comes off this is just a little decorative bag i use to hold trash in there up above there is storage so these open up and you know obviously i've got some clothes and other personal belongings in here and, uh, and then there's one on the other side. Up here, this is more storage, and this flips up on gas struts. And keep in mind, guys, it's at 1,500 pounds. You guys can see I've got food and a lot of my personal belongings in here. That is that total weight. So there's a little stove. This is removable. There's another drawer with one of those tops. This opens up. That's where I store the pots and pans. Uh, down here, you have more storage. So back up in here is another five-gallon container of water. I carry some camp chairs back there. There's quite a bit of storage tucked underneath there. And this right here is a Little Buddy heater. A lot of people ask how I heat in here. And I use a Little Buddy heater when I have to. But you have to note that this is a small space and it's very, very well insulated. So it doesn't take a lot to, to heat it up in here. Right here, you guys can see the AC unit. That's a 5,000 BTU unit. You would pull off the back to vent it. This AC unit can run entirely off-grid from this battery, meaning, and you can run it for hours. And you guys can imagine a 5,000 BTU, BTU air conditioner unit is gonna keep this place really cool in here. So that's a real interesting game changer. You don't see many campers, especially turnkey, that you can run AC off-grid. So. Um, and then, you know, they, there's just some decorations on the wall. All of this is um, cedar. This is all hand-built by myself. And that is one thing to consider. This entire camper in here is completely handmade. There is no other campers like this. Um, extremely high quality. Another feature is here's another window on this side. And this, I guess you would say this shutter, this door, lifts up with a... Um, gas struts and it stays in the up position so you can close it for privacy and when you want to or you can lift it up um, so guys this is this is the camper 
and uh, I think it would be a good addition to anybody who wants a lightweight, uh, beautiful, custom-made camper uh, that would last a lifetime. So uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you're interested in purchasing, check out the RV Trader ad. I'll have it linked up here shortly. Or you can send me a private email, which is in the About section of my YouTube channel page. Um, and one additional thing, if you were a purchaser with a full price purchase, uh, I would be willing to deliver this, you know, within three or 400 miles of the Las Vegas, Nevada area, which is where I'm located. Uh, I could deliver further, but we'd have to negotiate some additional costs for shipping and so forth. So let me know what you guys think and uh, hope you enjoy this. Bye. Hey guys, I almost forgot. Here is that outdoor kitchen deployed. So that little door right there actually lifts off and it's a two part slide system. So the first slide comes out and you can put your favorite camp stove. This box has a drawer right here. Back in there is a little storage cubby with a little bit of water and that USB pump actually connects right here and feeds into a little sink. So you got a whole little outdoor cooking area up there. You guys can see that is the solar panels in their tilted configuration. So I hope you guys like it. I'll see you guys in a bit.